Hey everyone, my name's Kendra. Welcome back to This Cozy Space. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different and just have a chat. So grab a warm beverage and a cozy blanket, get comfy, and then come back and join me. All right, I stopped posting videos probably in December and took a little impromptu break. And I wanna catch you up on what we've been doing over the last couple of months while I was away. So I have been recording videos this whole time that I've not been sharing on YouTube. Um, I have some adventures to share with you guys in vlog form coming up soon. But before I started posting those on here, I thought maybe I'll just catch you up and let you know what we've been up to. So December was a bit busy for us we had come off having family over for Thanksgiving and then I had like a little window where I could decorate and prep and wrap and all of those things and then my mom and my stepdad were coming up for a visit so we really got to love on family during the holidays we visited national parks and state parks and went on beautiful drives and I went up into the mountains with them my mom when she was here we got to go like way up north and we saw oh, some of the most beautiful snow. I've never seen that amount of snow before and it was magical, magical. And uh, we enjoyed our time with them and then said goodbye. And when they left, we really hit the home projects hard, uh, really focusing on our garage. The garage has been full of boxes for a long time. Like I'm talking like you can't see past them or through them and there's like a tiny little walkway down the garage so we spent many of our weekends and early mornings before Kent went into work sorting through everything the whole box thing maybe I should share that story in a different day but we had our stuff packed for us by a moving company in Texas and they they packed everything I'm talking like trash cans filled with trash and then they would take like a Tupperware lid that's plastic and wrap it in a hundred pieces of packing paper, but then a bowl that's glass and do nothing to it. And then they were mixing like kitchen stuff with library stuff, with playroom stuff, with bathroom stuff. So it's a hot mess. And every time you open up a box, you just never know what kind of emotional journey you're gonna go on. So we kind of got over that for a little while and pushed that to the wayside when the holidays approached. And it was time to kind of buckle down and work, th work on that a bit more. Now, the garage still has boxes, but you can actually see past the piles now. And there's a decent walkway versus it was like this, now that's like this. So during January, we donated a ton of stuff. We sent a lot of things to the dump um, that were like literal trash. And then we had a lot of things that came to from Texas to Utah that weren't supposed to. It was like all separated and was supposed to go elsewhere. Uh, but the moving thing, oh my gosh. Yeah, some someday I'll tell you the story. Um, so I had a lot of really awesome pieces that we just don't have the space for in this house. So I was able to share those with our new friends, which was great. So we had people coming up and getting furniture. And that was most of January. Something else really awesome in January happened. And that goes along with our homeschooling. We switched our homeschooling platform, I guess you could say, or like umbrella that we were working with. And that means that we... I got all new curriculum and our previous homeschool program that we were working with was all done for us and it was all online based and I just didn't like that. We don't do a lot of TV time or tablet or iPad. We don't play a lot of video games. My boys are still very young and I just want them to have time to be bored and explore and use our imagination and be outdoors. And I just, because that's how our normal life works, that idea of them being on the computer for all their classes, it just didn't really jive. And I could just see their faces like glossing over when we were doing lessons. And as a teacher, I didn't even enjoy teaching that way. So I knew that we needed to make a change and we did. So in the middle of January, we started our new program. I was able to pick out the curriculum and we started all new curriculum, which is amazing. It's going so well. Our schedule is so much better than it was before. The boys are learning and they're retaining and they're enjoying and they're grateful for this shift. And maybe having that season of kind of like where we're learning what works best for us, was beneficial in the end because they're so much more appreciative of what we're doing now than what we were previously doing because they know what we were previously doing and they can compare the two. And so they're constantly saying like, this is so fun or I love this or I've even had them say that they wanna like keep going a couple of times, which I'm like, oh, okay friend, if you want to, sure. Which is completely night and day to what we were experiencing in the past with our homeschool option. So that's going really well. It took a bit of a learning curve for me to figure out all the ins and outs and how I'm supposed to be doing stuff and 
The program's a little bit different. They actually fund you. So per child, I get an allotted amount to spend for each class that they're registered for. And it, they're not really necessarily registered for a class. It just like on their school schedule, it says like the classes that we're doing. And then I'm the one that facilitates whatever education or curriculum I want them to have within those brackets. And so you get an allowance. There's a lot of like receipts going on and, uh, Excel spreadsheets and stuff so there's been a, a little bit of a learning curve there but we're jiving and it's going really really well uh, something else that was big in January was uh, I jumped on Instagram if you're one of my Instagram friends and you're watching this hi guys I miss you so much and I really do think about you all the time but I jumped on Instagram which I previously was very very active on especially the story feature and I let everybody know that I was just feeling this call to pull away from social media for a little bit so I took January off and then I also said I was gonna take February off so a two-month break to kind of clear my mind break some bad habits and really just like focus on what I wanted to kind of get going in our new year and it's been really good and I have so many thoughts to say about that but I think once I finish this two months like spurt or whatever I'll get on and do a video and kind of talk about what I've learned and experienced and what's changed um, with me mentally and my relationship with social media once I finish February out so also my big goal for this year was to focus on taking care of myself. We've had a really interesting couple of years and I worked my, my bun off, my buns. I almost said little hiney, but I'm like, my hiney's really not little, so I can't call it a little hiney, but we'll go with buns, okay? I worked my buns off uh, teaching online for my class over the last, when I was back in Texas, it was so much work and um, it was a lot of work anyways that took a ton of my focus away and then it was oh my gosh we're moving surprise now prep your home to be rented out we have a family that's renting our home for us from us right now so we still have the house in Texas and it's different like selling it to somebody versus renting it out because it there were certain things that we needed to do so that it was like comfortable for whoever was renting from us that was a lot of work along with Kent taking on a full-time job which had much more responsibility and time constriction than what he used to have plus me working a ton and then the kids being in the house all the time because they were online schooling so it was then we had to pack everything anyways all that to say my focus has been pulled a million different directions to make sure everybody's doing good with the change and the shift and then we got out here and it was um i was out here with the boys for a month and a half by myself so i was focusing on them and making sure they were doing good with the with the move and then um unpacking all the stuff by myself and really focusing on the boys like setting down roots and making friends and this new homeschool thing and it's just been a lot it's been very beautiful and i love the way that our life has shifted at this point it's awesome and i'm so grateful but my focus has really been pulled in a million different ways and the things that it has not been pulled towards was my health so i have a lot of question marks with my health and it's been a journey to say the least and I actually was very scared to leave texas and leave my little pocket of doctors behind that have been on the journey with me the whole way and i've been dragging my feet now that we've been in utah finding doctors because i just do not want to go and meet them and just tell them everything because i feel like they're gonna think i'm a little bit of a hypochondriac but I feel like my other doctors they were there to see it all and they all know whereas if I just go and tell these people they're gonna be like say what so well, slow down so I've been a little bit anxious about that to be honest with you so I just didn't take care of some things I have some things I need to have scanned I have some blood work I'm supposed to be doing and I was supposed to do this before I moved I tried to do it I waited until like two days before we we're supposed to move and I wasn't able to schedule everything in so it's time it's time to kind of focus on that and allocate time to that and taking care of myself and making myself important and I feel like I'm in a headspace now where I can do that so I turned 40 this year Woohoo! the big 40 and my saying for the year is fit by 40 fit by 40 it means maybe something a little bit different to me than it might mean to some and I just really mean like being fit mind body and soul I don't mean losing all the weight or being a fitness guru or whatever I just want to know that I'm trying to my my best to focus on myself give myself some grace and some space and some peace and 
just kind of rebuild some things that I've lost over these last couple of years where I was really kind of focusing on this big shift and transition that we've had with this move and making sure that I'm going to these doctor's appointments no matter how nervous I am and just doing the work so that I can feel well in my body. So that's kind of my focus for the rest of this. My birthday's in August. So, I mean, I'll be focusing on it for the whole year, but I'm hoping to kind of overcome some big hurdles before my birthday. So along the lines of that, I have started a new protocol, it's well, a new to me protocol, it's called the AIP or autoimmune protocol or autoimmune paleo protocol. So basically it's for people who have autoimmune diseases or anything going on related to inflammatory issues in their body and it really helps your body heal from the inside out. I can talk more about it in another video if you're interested, I'm not an expert on it. I've just done the research for myself and uh, I'm a week and a couple days in and it's going really, really well. And again, I can have another video on it separately if you want, but that's kind of me just taking my health into my own hands and working on some things while I'm waiting to get in with these doctors. And along the lines of doctors, something else I've been dragging my feet about is finding a doctor. And I finally found one that I think is gonna be a really good fit for me and I'm actually looking forward to meeting with him versus being like petrified to meet with him. So we have some insurance things going on right now, but once that get sorted. I've got the number. I'm ready to make an appointment and then we'll get rocking and rolling. So that was another big thing for me for this month. Something else that's been going on and this kind of relates to being fit by 40 and working on my mind and kind of pouring back into myself this year. I had lost my groove a bit with reading. Not a ton. I mean, I was still reading books here and there, but it wasn't a main focus for me and leaving social media i knew that i was then going to have more time to not be scrolling on my phone and get back into that reading groove and i have so i've been reading a lot over the last couple of months and maybe i'll pop some pictures up here of some of the books that i have finished uh, but it feels so good. It feels so good to wake up in the morning and sit in my reading chair and read a book or take a book with me and read a book or whatever the thing is. I do a lot of audiobooks, which work great for being a busy mom. Um, but the thing that I feel serves me the best is when I actually sit down, stop what I'm doing and find time to actually sit and read a book. So um, I, I kind of walk away from those particular reading sessions feeling like I left a spa and it's just so good for me mentally um, and it helps with anxiety a ton. So lately though, I've had a hard time with like the kids are always here and things are busy and everybody's running around and I'm very easily distracted. So I've been listening to the audiobook with my earbuds and then reading the book also at the same time and that really helps and I don't have to do that all the time but sometimes it just kind of gets me going and starts me in the story and then I can kind of carry on um, I often find books on Scribd which is a service I use or I get them from my library I still have my library card back in Texas and then I have one in Utah so double whammy right um, and I will often go to my shelves and pick books out that I can find the audiobook for easily and then kind of pair it that way. So that's been a really great thing that's brought me joy during this time. Something else that we did was um, Voyage Into Vegas. So I mentioned earlier that we've been recording vlogs this whole time and we have, and I have lots of really fun adventures to share with you in the future. Most recently, we drove through I don't remember what this place is called. I think it's called Valley of Fire. If I'm wrong, I'll put the name here on the screen. It doesn't matter, whatever. You'll see the vlog eventually. But I recorded some, some video footage from Valley of Fire and it was stunning. We could have spent the whole day there, but we needed to kind of mosey on to Vegas. Um, so we missed a few things that I want to go back and visit, but we did that and then we drove on to Vegas because we wanted to go to the Asian supermarket. Y'all, we have missed the Asian supermarket so much. We don't have one here in Southern Utah, but there is a great one in Vegas. So we loaded our cart high. I took some footage of that too. And I don't know how all the editing is going to come, come together, but maybe you'll see that in a video. Um, we got fish and veggies and lots of herbs and oh my gosh, the most beautiful ginger that's like this big. The ginger I've been getting from our little store here is like, it's so sad. It's so sad. But we were so excited to go to this grocery store. Even my boys, it was almost like it was a field trip, an amusement park visit. So that was really fun. And guess what? We pulled up right 
next to the Asian supermarket was a Goodwill. Ah, I've missed Goodwill so much. We don't have Goodwills here in Southern Utah where I'm located. I don't know like further out if they have them, but there's none around me. Um, and not only was it a Goodwill, it was a massive Goodwill. It was huge. I've never been in a Goodwill as big as this one. And I had so much fun looking around. Kent kind of like checked out in the Asian supermarket and loaded the car up. And when he did that, I was like perusing the aisles at Goodwill. I miss a lot of things about my thrift stores back in Texas. And I've often thought about doing a video. So if you're interested in that and hearing about the differences between what I find thrifting here versus what I found back in Texas and like the pricing differences and stuff, if you're a thrift nerd like myself, um, I would be happy to record that video for you. I'm obvious, like, not obviously, I'm very often comparing my experiences and missing certain things, but the flip side of it, we have really great things here in Southern Utah as well, and some of the prices are really great, and then some of them aren't. So anyways, I just find all that very interesting, so if you want to know more about that, let me know. I can talk more about the homeschooling if you're interested. I can talk more about API if you're interested. And uh, I can always do a thrift chat with you because I could talk you up about thrifting books as well. That's another thing I can talk a lot about. Anyways, so that was our most recent adventure, but here we are. So we're doing really well. We're staying busy, but like in a good way that feels good and uh, the flow feels good to our family. We're having adventures. I've been recording it for you all along and I'm very excited to share some of those adventures with you. I just wanted to pop in and say hello first and catch you up with what we've been up to. And uh, there we have it. So I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day and uh, we'll see you in our next video. Okay, goodbye everybody.